Is it so old Latin that it must be a religious piece? But in fact, it's debauchery, sex, gambling, drunkenness. The headlines would read, Aimless wanderings by over-educated and re-employed youngsters in a society that scorns them. That sound familiar these days? Well, it shouldn't, because I'm talking about Europe in the late 1200s. These wandering scholars, monks and bards, were often thrown out of towns in medieval Europe, but the powers that be in an Bavarian monastery in Germany couldn't quite bring themselves to destroy the brilliant Bodhi songs, and the works were far too risque and pagan to let common folk hear them. So they tucked the verses in the monastery for um, the protection of the people, where only the monks could um, study them. The verses were acquired by Karl Orff in the 1930s, and we have Kadmina Burana, an excerpt from that um, 